Hello everyone! I recently introduced a beginner-friendly DIY Eurorack module series. I started with a simple mixer, a buffered multiple, an inverter and a low-frequency oscillator. Today I'm going to look into building the next module, an envelope generator based on the 555 timer integrated circuit. The whole idea behind this series is to have easy and approachable DIY modules that everyone can build. I'm using only through-hole components and the amount is very limited and easy to source. An envelope generator or ADSR generates a control voltage and is usually used to shape a sound over time, for example in a voltage controlled amplifier or filter. There are four parameters that control the time-based function. It is the attack, the decay, sustain and release. The function is triggered by a gate signal that comes from a keyboard or a sequencer. The general idea is to have a more natural sound than just turning a note on and off. I start by breadboarding the circuit. When I confirm that it is working, I create the schematics in KiCad. KiCad is open source software for making printed circuit boards, which is easier to use than you might think once you get used to the process. The idea is to have a fully working UREC module with controls and input jacks once it is finished. A module usually consists of two or three boards that are stacked on top of each other. It is a front panel, a board for the controls and inputs and a board for the circuit itself. The circuit I'm going to look into is based on René Schmidt's fastest envelope in the West. It is a simple but elegant design based on the 7555 timer integrated circuit. It is the CMOS variant of the original 555 timer. The 555 timer is a classic in electrical engineering and has been around since the 70s. It has multiple operation modes that make it versatile for a lot of applications that need timing. The idea of the circuit is quite simple. There is a capacitor that is going to be charged and discharged and is controlled over time by the 7555 timer I see. The whole part you see here is to condition the input signal to have a short pulse to trigger the timer. I'm going to replace this with my own op-amp based version to make the component variety even smaller. Let's take a look at the basic principle. The timer I see is set up as a monostable timer to control the different phases of charge and discharge of the capacitor. The time of charge and discharge of the phases are controlled by the respective pot and the capacity. The monostable timer is a one-shot application of the 555 timer. The timer starts when the trigger input is low for a short amount of time. The capacitor is charged through the attack pot when the output of the timer is high. Charge is flowing out of the capacitor through the other pots and it is controlling the behavior of the control voltage. The output of the 555 timer is going low and charging ends when the threshold pin of the timer is above two thirds of VCC. After creating the schematics in KiCad, I am going to lay out the printed circuit boards. There are pin headers to connect both PCBs. I'm trying to leave as much room as possible between pots and input jacks to make everything accessible. The front panel is also a PCB with holes for the controls and input jacks. Let's assemble the finished PCBs. I'm starting with the components with the lowest profile, which would be diodes and resistors, and continuing with IC sockets, power sockets and capacitors. I'm doing the pots and jacks at the very end. 
make sure to screw them to the front panel before soldering them. Here is the finished module. I also started a Patreon. If you like what I do, please join in and support my efforts. You get early access to my content and design files, and I hope there will be a vivid discussion on various projects. I hope by starting this, I'll be able to work more steadily on my projects and be able to share them with you. The module PCBs of the envelope generator and the other modules are available in my online store. Paying Patreons get a discount on every purchase. There's much more detail on the modules on my website. The links are in the description below. Alright, that's all for today. I would like to thank my Patreons for their valued support. You make this possible. Thanks for watching. See you next time and bye for now.